Hey everybody, I'm Lynn Lichty and this is my hip spotlight. Honestly, I, I don't remember a time when I wasn't singing. It's just, I was born knowing that this was what I was gonna do. So I can't really say that there was one specific time. Um, obviously, like almost every little girl who was a singer when I saw the production of Annie, I loved it. Um, but any performance on stage, uh, just it spoke to me very deeply. So I just, I was born singing. That's the way it always was. I've, I've been very lucky, I've been very blessed. I've, I've been able to do shows all over the world and work with amazing people. Lionel Richie, The Scorpions, Jim Steinman, Roman Polanski. These are great people and I learned so much from working with them. My first major lead happened over in Europe. Um, I had gotten the role of Ellen. I auditioned here actually at Radio City Music Hall in New York and uh, got the role of Ellen in a German production of Miss Saigon. The chance to do a show with Jim and Roman was very exciting, so I auditioned for that and I got the role in that. So I went to do Sarah in Vienna, Austria. And then after that, I was invited to audition for Frank Wildhorn's Jekyll and Hyde. And I got the lead role of Lucy and I went to do that and it was a fantastic production. Really magnificent, huge stage, wonderful orchestration. It was really incredible. Um, so I got to do that show, which yeah, it was great. It was wonderful. I was always in the genre that I'm doing, which, you know, I consider my music to be a very theatrical rock style. I. My voice does sound theatrical. I have a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, but the music is rock. Uh, my co-producer, Ron Pinella, and I, we believe very strongly in an organic process when we're writing and recording. We, we don't like click tracks or drum tracks. We, we like to do everything real. So we bring in all of our musicians and we work from an organic process with everyone. So everybody's part of the creative process. Right off the bat, it's very fun, it's sexy, it's funky, it's primal, it's very tribal. Um, you, you instinctively respond to it. it. It constantly, it makes you tap your foot, it makes you get into it, it's very exciting. It's, um, it's, it's a great combination of, of emotion and message. Um, the song is, is a comment on the ongoing battle between brains and brawn. Um, it's sort of my, my way of commenting on wouldn't it be exciting if we all got a little bit more back in touch with our passion and our, and our guts. I think kind of as a society, as a people, we've, we've tended to, to get stuck behind our head and thinking too much. And by doing that, we've present, prevented ourselves from feelings. And obviously in the video and the song we, you know, we comment and we make jokes and we have a few parodies going through the video. We, we do a little par parody on uh, the One Million BC movie with Raquel Welsh. And of course we're also poking fun at a certain insurance company because you can't talk about cavemen in this day and age without thinking of the TV commercials. So we poke a little fun and, and uh, it's, it's been great. People have really been responding well to it. It's got the balance of everything. It's, funny, it's sexy, it's fun, it's colorful, it's, it's got a wide variety of things, so it's, it's been really a long but great process. So the song is about the idea of getting back to kind of how the cavemen survived. They had instinct, they felt things, they followed their guts, and I think we've lost a little bit of that.